Hello guys, Lewis here. Welcome back to another video, and this is one of the biggest I've ever made. This is the Patreon release of Pfeiffer's FIFA 21 Reels Mod 1.0, the biggest mod ever made uh, for any FIFA, bigger than the mod for FIFA 20, etc, uh, etc. Et so, uh, this is just going to be hopefully be a quick video on how you can install. It's going to be detailed, but I'm going to try to keep it quite short. This is for any experience level, even if you're a beginner or if you've used every mod there is. So if you don't know what my Reels mod is, I recommend you watch the trailer. It's the last video on this channel. Um, and there's a little card that will pop up now, links in the description and on the pinned comment, or you can just Google it. Uh, and it uh, basically goes over what the mod is, what, what it adds, everything like that. Um, but it is, it is an absolutely huge mod. It has, I think, around 800 new faces, uh, uh, more than that actually, face updates, manager faces, graphics, kits, banners, ad boards, licenses, Juventus, Roma, all the other teams, regen faces, manager outfits, backgrounds. Um, and that's for getting the main reels mod, which adds, which fixes a lot of the EA, EA bugs, adds some new features, um, and you know, realistic use scouting, simulation, transfers, player values, etc. It's huge. Um, so we're gonna get on to how to download it, first of all. So first thing you need, download the mod. You wanna go to fightformods.com slash fifa21-reelsmod. Link uh, will be coming up now. Uh, there's also a link in the description and uh, on the pinned comment, and it'll take you here. So you can see the trailer. It should start playing here. Um, there's a tutorial, if you want to see the text version of the tutorial, I'll get into that later. Um, and then download, and you can see the features there too. We'll get into all that later. Right now, what I will tell you is I highly recommend you join the Discord. Uh, if you go to this page, you can scroll down, you'd click connect, link is also in the description and coming up now. Um, you, you really need to do this, because this is a fairly simple process, but there are a lot of things that you can run into, uh, and, and some are common issues, but you might not know how to fix. So just join this Discord. There are people online 24 seven who we can help you. And if you comment below, I will maybe get back to you, but most times I'll just forward you to the Discord server because it's not very easy to answer your questions on YouTube or Patreon or Twitter or whatever. So uh, again, it's free, just takes two seconds to uh, set up an account. So yes, please join that. Anyways, you wanna click download and it'll take you to the download page. Now, uh, as it says, it is currently Patreon only and the public release date is March 10th. What I mean by that is $2 plus Patreons get early access to the mod by seven days. So when the mod releases, which, it, uh, well, while you're watching this, it is, uh, the pat uh, Patreons will get access to it for seven days, uh, and that's only them for those seven days. And then it goes out to everybody and anyone can use it. So the public release date is March 10th. So if you're watching this uh, on March 10th, uh, on, on later than March 10th, you can get access to it even if you're not a Patreon. There will be an exact time there uh, when you check the website, but currently the mod's not released. I'm recording this in advance, so I, I don't exactly know, but it should be sometime probably around 8 p.m. EST or something. And then I will get into the Patreon here. If you do want to get this mod early, uh, then there is the early access so then about the Patreon, if you want to join the Patreon to get the mod early, if it's not March 11th yet, you can do that on patreon.com slash reelsmod, link is coming up now and in the description. And as you can see here, here is how you sign up. So uh, these prices for me are in Canadian, but for you they might be in uh, Euros or uh, American or, or something like that. Um, so early access is Canadian $3 a month, uh, in America it's just two, which is about seven cents a day. Um, and it is a month, but you can cancel anytime and still get access. So you can join, cancel, and you'll still get access to all the posts until the end of the month, or download it and then cancel, whatever you want to do. So for that, you get early access for the early access tier. And there are some others, for instance, for beta or alpha. Uh, for a bit more, you can get access to uh, beta and alpha versions, which are basically the testing versions. Uh, alpha will probably come out sometimes this week or next week of 1.1 with some new features. But you just click here. Uh, again, if you, if you pay annually, you can save 10% and then you sign up, it just takes a second and then join. Um, and again, all, uh, almost all the money goes straight back into the tool to pay for new kits, faces, to help support the mod manager and, and the editor tool and the development there. So yeah, hugely appreciated if you want to sign up. But once again, you do not have to. It's completely optional. That's why the mod is free. Um, and it will be coming out to everyone in uh, on March 11th and a, a tiny bit earlier, late March 10th. Uh, so again, totally optional, but it does mean a huge lot if you can support and it does really help the mod. But anyways, you would click download on this page and it would bring you to this Patreon post. Uh, again, if you are a Patreon, you should get access to this. If not, you'll have to join. But again, if it's late March 10th or later, you will get access to this no matter if you're a Patreon or not. So the first thing we uh, we can see here is that there is a features list. This post might look slightly different to you. There might be some new stuff added, some, some uh, things that are bolted, whatever. Again, I'm recording this in advance, so it's a bit of a makeshift situation. 
But if we do click the link for the features list, we'll be brought to this page. And I highly recommend you read through this. Uh, the mod is, again, uh, over nine gigabytes, so it will take some time to download when you do eventually download it. So maybe you can read through this while it downloads. There is a lot of stuff here. Again, it's Patreon, it's fightformods.com slash FIFA20 reels mod slash features. Link is in the description coming up now. Um, and again, main reels mod. You can see wherever here, again, for the website, uh, if it asks you to disable your ad blocker, please do, because that's uh, a lot how the mod is funded by ads on the website. But again, we can look through every section here. We can see, oh, what, what was changed for player growth? We can see all those changes. What was changed for simulation? We can see all those changes. And then other mods, like, you know, what was added in the graphics mod? We can see that. So I, it's, it's a long read, but if you want to skim through it, read through it, I would highly recommend it. Next thing we can see is the credit section. Uh, now, I have not, I, there have been a lot of people uh, who have contributed to this mod, probably almost 100 or, or 50 or 70 or something. Uh, so again, it's uh, fightformods.com slash fev 21 dash reels mod slash credits. Link is on the Patreon post description coming up now, whatever. So again, uh, I have done a lot of work, but there are a lot of people who have done also uh, incredible amount of work, including GNKline92. Uh, make sure to give him a shout out if you ever see him because he's done uh, a lot of the maybe boring work, importing, exporting files, uh, doing some stuff in Excel, uh, organizing stuff here and there. He's been a huge help uh, and the mod would not be what it is without him. But again, there's a lot of people who have contributed, especially graphical wise for kits, for banners, for faces, uh, for manager outfits. So again, I'd recommend you read through this because there are a lot of people. Um, and I want to thank all the, my patrons again for funding this mod uh, uh, because it wouldn't be possible without them. Then there's also an installation tutorial. Uh, now, this is what you're watching right now in some aspects. There are basically two versions. When you go to fightformods.com slash fifa21 reels mods slash tutorial in the description, you'll get a text tutorial and a video tutorial. Right now, it's only the text tutorial, obviously. Um, but the video tutorial is the one you're watching right now. But if you have experience with mods, if you've used them for FIFA 21 before, you might just want to read through this because it is the simpler version, or if you're very good computers and you understand how stuff works. Um, but if, if not, then I'd recommend you watch this video, but this is just the, the very simple version that you can uh, read through here. Then finally, the download. So there are four different sites you can download from. The first is Mediafire. It's pretty slow, but generally reliable. Um, and if you use a VPN and set the location to uh, somewhere in North America, so uh, Canada, USA, Mexico, it should speed up. So again, you just click here and then here. It's pretty simple. You just click the download uh, button. Uh, if it might open up a pop-up or ad, just close that, but you just download it there. Uh, next one is Mega. Uh, it's, it's definitely the fastest, but sometimes it asks you to get a Mega subscription, which you can get and it does support the mod if that's another way you want to support the mod. Um, and using a VPN can sometimes bypass this. Uh, again, this one's again easy, you just click download, there's no ads or anything. The next is Google Drive. It's pretty slow and has some download limits, so sometimes it won't let you download if too many people have. I, d I don't recommend using Google Drive, but uh, if none of the other ones are working, you can use this. And finally, OneDrive. Uh, speeds vary, for some people it's fast, for some people it's slow, but it seems to be quite reliable. The one thing about this though, is that uh, uh, is that you may have to create a, a, a Outlook or OneDrive account or whatever. You might already have one, but you have to sign in to download it, unlike the other ones. So you're going to choose one of those and you're going to want it to download. Again, it's about nine gigabytes. The, the actual archive is about 9.4 or something, but the, the provider's display is a bit less. Um, but after you have installed uh, or download the mod, we need to install the mod manager to let us launch it. I'll get into that now. Now, like I said, the next thing we need to do is download the FIFA mod manager. Now, if you use the FIFA 20 mod or any FIFA 20 mod, same for FIFA 19, FIFA 18, FIFA 17, you might be familiar with Frosty Mod Manager. Now, that was not updated for FIFA 21, so we have a new program. It's called FIFA Mod Manager. It's much better, has many more features and fixes. So for the user, this is a huge improvement. This is a very good thing for you. Um, again, it's ho totally free and very easy to set up. It, it's quite similar to uh, Frosty in many ways, so it shouldn't be too new. So to download it, you want to go to fifaeditor.com slash download, link is in the description and popping up on the screen uh, in the corner now. And uh, uh, if it may ask you to disable your ad blocker, again, do that. Um, and you want to download uh, v1.0.5.5 or later. So v1.0.6, when that's released, that will work, et cetera, et cetera. But you need to have this version at least, or else you'll run to issues, the mod won't work, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're not 100% sure, just re-download it. It's a small file, shouldn't be too bad. So you wanna come here, you just wanna click download. Uh, you can read through the change log or whatever, past versions, but you just want to go download. Download here, just say accept cookies. Again, only 60 megabytes, click download and get that downloaded. 
then we'll go from there. While that downloads, you're going to want to download a program that can extract uh, RAR files if you don't already have one. You may be familiar with 7-zip or WinRAR. If you already have one of those installed, then you don't need to worry. But if not, you're going to need one, and I recommend WinRAR. It's free um, and it works very well. So you want to go to rarlab.com slash downloads.html, link in the description and popping up on screen now. And you want to click the one of your language, and if your PC is 64 or uh, 32 or 64 bit, again, doesn't really matter. But you just click download and it will open an EXE. You'd open the EXE and go through the download process, but there's many tutorials for that online. So when, once FIFA Mod Manager has downloaded, you want to open it. And again, it should open in whatever program, WinRAR or whatever. And then you want to extract this somewhere on your PC. Uh, generally, you want to put it on the same drive as FIFA, and ideally that's on your SSD, you may normally your C drive, because you know to load a lot of mods, it will take some time, and it's much faster if FIFA and the mod manager are installed on the C drive. So I'd recommend uh, you putting them both on that drive. And then again, uh, you want to extract it normally uh, on your documents folder, maybe desktop or something or like that. You don't want to put it in program files or system32 or something. You want to put it in a nice easy folder. So I've just created a folder called modding stuff, you can create whatever, and then drag this folder into it. Or you can go here, click extract to, and then put in the location or somewhere like that. You don't want to open this and just extract the exe, it's better to put it in its own separate folder. So great, we've uh, installed that, and now again, you just have to wait for the mod to download. So uh, just uh, wait for that to download and do whatever in the meantime, maybe read the, read the features list. Okay, so now let's say you've downloaded the mod, it's downloaded uh, the big RAR again, 9.4 uh, gigabytes, so pretty huge. You wanna open it with WinRAR or whatever program you use, again, like we did with FIFA Mod Manager. And you wanna extract it somewhere on your PC. Again, I'd recommend putting this, again, it, it doesn't matter too much. Don't put in your program files or system32. Uh, it is a big file, so uh, you can install it on your E or, or D drive or uh, you know, not your main SSD, that's fine because you'll be importing it and whatever. Um, so again, you just want to extract this folder somewhere on your PC. I've already done it here. Just drag and drop or use the extract to function. Don't open it and extract certain things um, because that might mess things up and whatever. So I, I don't recommend doing that. Just put it the whole folder somewhere on your PC. Then you want to open up the mod manager. So you want to open up FIFA mod manager 21 v whatever version, but make sure it's at least 1.0.5.5.exe. You want to open this. You don't have to run it as an admin, although uh, I would recommend it. Um, and if you're running into any issues, I would try to do that. But we just want to double click it or go right click open. And then this will pop up. Uh, it, it should automatically detect your FIFA 21 EXE. Again, you will have to have FIFA 21 installed via, it doesn't matter which platform, if it's EA Desktop, Origin, or Steam, it'll work, but it has to be on your PC. This is PC only. Uh, it doesn't work on, on, on Nintendo Switch or, or PlayStation or Xbox or anything like that. So then what you want to do here is you want to import the mods. You want to use the import mods function. You can also drag a certain mod onto it like this, as we can see, uh, as we can see here. But since you're going to be importing many, it's better just to uh, uh, import them via this function. So you want to click import mods right here, and then you want to go to where you install the mod, which for me is here. Uh, you can import the RAR, but I would not recommend it. It's going to take a lot of time, especially on slow PCs. You're going to have a ton of files. It's going to be hard to navigate. Um, and I don't recommend it. There may also be some issues too. So open this folder and then select the mods you want to use. So uh, you're generally going to want to select the main mods here, the 13 main mods. There is, uh, for if you're downloading 1.0 in its first few days, there may be an expanded national team mod uh, as part of these. Uh, that's a mistake, it should be in a separate add-on folder, but it's fine, just I wouldn't uh, import it right away. But you select these, you're going to click open. Then it will take a little bit of time because this is a you know good six seven gigabytes for all of them to import. So just be patient and then uh, come back when uh, they have all imported. So then once the mods have loaded, you want to apply them. So how you do this is you select the ones you want to apply, which is normally all of them if you only import the 13 main mods. You can either manually select them or go click one, control A, to select them all. Then click apply mods, it will go like this. In terms of the order, I'll get into that a bit later and my, my, I might make a separate video. The next thing uh, we're going to look at is just what each mod does and a bit more. For this, it's probably best if we actually go to the folder. So I'll get into everything here. So these Lua scripts, these apply certain things to squad files and career saves. We'll get into that later in a separate video. The boots and gloves add-on adds many boots and many gloves, uh, uh, improves the quality of some, et cetera, et cetera, adds a, adds a gripper sock. 
camera add-on uh, creates this new broadcast style, really realistic, nothing we've ever seen in FIFA before camera. Face updates adds, I think, like 250 plus face updates for players, you know, uh, say players like uh, Ter Stegen and Trent Alexander-Arnold and Rashford and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, gameplay add-on improves the gameplay, makes it a bit slow. There's a there, again read the features list. It just makes the gameplay a lot more better. Uh, the the AI is much more aggressive, stuff like that. Graphics add-ons. This adds many kits. Uh, this adds banners, ad boards, trophies. Um, what else? Flags, font, stuff like that. Manager faces adds a bunch of mana for manager faces for managers like uh, what to shell and uh, one for like uh, Pochettino and Pirlo and Komen and uh, every, every manager like that. It's like 60 plus or something, it's, it's a lot. New faces adds 800 plus, almost 850 faces for Greenwood, for Enzo Fati, for Nelson Semedo, for Alain Ya, for uh, Kabak, for Curtis Jones, um, for you know all those players, uh, a lot of them and uh, all very high quality and stuff like that. New menu, uh, this isn't the full complete new menu mod like there was for FIFA 20, but it does add a few new features here and there. Uh, referee faces add-on, this adds I think 10, 20 uh, referee faces like Lahoz, like uh, uh, Kevin, like uh, I'm not, like Mike Dean, you know, all those. Uh, regen faces add-ons, improves the uh, Youth Academy regen faces, the mini faces, thin game faces are the same, but the regen faces uh, to make them look really realistic. The tattoos add-on adds over 160, I think, tattoos for all players from all different types and whatever, like Van Dyke, like Wijnaldum, uh, you know, all of those. Turf add-ons, I think a really important one, improves the turf to make it look more 3D, more realistic, more green, etc. And then the Reels mod, this contains all the Reels mod changes. Again, make sure to read the, the features list, but stuff like uh, realistic use scouting and transfers and whatnot. The squad files, again, to that later. Backgrounds, just change the background to certain club themed backgrounds. Expanded national team experience, again, to this later. Fantasy kits, in the name. Manager outfits, in the name. Optional faces are either face variants, so like Messi with a thicker beard or, or Messi with longer hair, and then optional new faces that uh, uh, new faces that aren't in the mod for players with a bit lower overall or potential. Other add-on mods, stuff like the Camp New Replica, which we'll get into later, and uh, the No Crowd add-on mod. Then we have stuff like other Lewis scripts, I'll get into that later, other Squad Vals referee faces, this is just for some stuff to import uh, to your career. Uh, sc scoreboards in the name, St uh, stadiums, actually, that's where the Cap New add on is, and the TV logos, again, in the name. Okay, so I've increased the size of the window, and I'm gonna go into a few more details about the mod. So, now there is the uh, expanded national team experience mod, um, and this mod is, it, it adds, I think, 48 new national teams and a ton of tournaments, a ton of expanded tournaments, and I would recommend using it, but the, the, the catch is that you won't be able to load your previous saves with the mod applied. So say you create a save, you know, a week ago, or even just with the main Rails mods. With the expanded national team mod applied, you can't load those careers. And when you create a new career without the mod, uh, with the mod enabled, when you disable the mod, you won't be, be able to load that. But it's it's not like they're corrupted. You just have to toggle the mod order of which mods you're using to load them. So uh, if you if you want to, you know, play on an existing career, then I, I wouldn't recommend to, to import it just yet. If you want to start a new career with those national teams, then yeah, you should apply it. Um, it, depending on when you downloaded it, because there was a little, not issue, but uh, organization uh, thing with the, with the first version I uploaded. Uh, it may be in, in the main folder, it may be like a, above, above this mod. If so, just import that one. If not, it's an expanded national team experience mod in this folder, this mod. Again, apply, and the thing is, it needs to be at the bottom of the applied list below the Reels mod. That is incredibly, incredibly important. Just remember that. And then about the other mods, again, I'll get into this in another video, about backgrounds, you can only use one background, really. I mean, you could use more for different leagues, but, you know, it's meant to use just one at, uh, one at the same time, because you're only going to be playing one career mode at the same time, really. Uh, fantasy kits, you can use as many as you want, just not two per team. You have to limit yourself to one per team max. Manager outfits, only one, because uh, there will be conflicts. Again, none of these are like if you use two, uh, you know, your FIFA will become broken, but there'll be issues and conflicts and stuff that you don't want. Uh, optional faces, you can use as many optional faces as you want, but for instance, 
uh, existing face variants. You don't want to use two Atoma Triars. You want to use one per player. But again, a lot of people just get these and they apply them all. And no, don't. Look through them and look through which ones you want to use. Uh, most of the time, the one in the mod is already better. So the ones you normally look out for the ones are that of something in uh, br br brackets. I think the Atoma Triora in the mod has long hair. But maybe you're a bit tired of that or maybe switches look up uh, look in real life then maybe you want oh i want the short hair with beard or without beard you know something like that you want the short hair version you can use as many of these as you want the the new face ones but you'll have to assign the ids manually in terms of other add-on mods you can use uh as many fourth kits uh or as many add-on mods as you really want to uh, just be aware that for the new national optional away team kits you can use as many as you want but they do replace the home team kits you can use one scoreboard per uh, folder. So you can use one Champions League scoreboard and then one Premier League one uh, and then one generic one. I know these are for different competitions, but they replace the default uh, scoreboard, so you can't use multiple. Same thing for TV logos, one for full folder, so you can't use two English Premier League ones. Anyways, let's say I don't want any add-ons. That's all I want for now. Um, and uh, I won't use the expanded National Team Experience mod just for this, just to simplify things. So we can just untick this. Uh, again, uh, that's basically the main thing. You want to make sure DirectX is set to 11. So you want it to look like this, okay? You don't want to touch that. Just leave that as B. You, if you want to mess with settings, you can go settings and you can choose settings. There aren't necessarily settings that are required. I would highly recommend using Windows borderless. Um, frame rate, whatever, whatever. Uh, do note that the mod uh, does, you know, it, it does, it's a bit more uh, performance intensive than default FIFA, so if you're experiencing lagging, maybe turn down the rendering quality, the MSAA, or lock the, the frame rate to, to lower. Uh, also, if your game isn't launching, uh, we'll get into that later, you can also use the alternative launch method. And one last thing before you launch, launch the game, you can select a locale.ini file. So you want to just click where it says default locale on I to uh, bring up the pop-up and you'll have four options from the gameplay mod. The normal gameplay, normal gameplay plus very aggressive AI, slow gameplay, and slow gameplay plus very aggressive uh, AI. I highly recommend you use at least one because they all contain some uh, unlocked graphics and some general imp gameplay improvements. Uh, you'll get more, more uh, animations, more situations where the AI does, you know, new stuff. Um, I personally like the slow gameplay locale. If you like slow gameplay, then I would just do, use the slow gameplay. If not, normal gameplay is fine. And the very aggressive AI, I don't personally use it. They are very aggressive. You will get a lot of tackles, a lot of tackles from behind, a lot of yellow cards, a lot of red cards. So I don't personally recommend it, but if that's the kind of gameplay you like, then go ahead, use it. So yeah, that, that's all about the locales. Next, launching the game. So then, uh, to launch the game, what you want to do is you want to click the arrow next to launch, delete FIFA mod data, and launch. Especially if you have used mods before, and this is the first time installing the Realist mod, you're going to want to delete mod data. If it's not, then you can probably just launch. But it's always safe for the first time to launch like this. Just click this, and then this will show up. Like it says, this may take some time, up to 30 minutes. For faster speeds, install FIFA 21 and the mod manager on your C drive uh, or SSD. So again, let's just wait for it to load up uh, and then I'll get into a few more details about how you can load the squad file and stuff. So then, at, so then at this point, when you get this screen, this is how you know the mod is working. Again, if you don't get the screen look at your applied list, you have to launch through FIFA mod manager. You can't launch through Origin or EA Desktop or Steam or whatever. Um, and again, make sure you, that you are using the right version of FIFA for the mod. Generally, you're going to need the latest version, but sometimes when there's a FIFA update, the mod will be outdated. So again, make sure you uh, join the Discord if, 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 if you get an error saying the mod is outdated. Uh, join the Discord, ask and ask about the new version, check the announcements channel, stuff like that. I will also leave a link in the description for a working versions page where you can get to learn a bit more about uh, what version is working, if there are any that are outdated, etc, etc. So now you came here, the mod is loaded up, and the next thing you want to do is load the squad file. Because if you're starting a new career, you're going to want to use the realism squad file. Uh, you don't have to, but it adds a bunch of new features and stuff. So I'll get to that now. So to load the squad file, we want to go back to the folder where we installed the mod. Now there are uh, four uh, basic squad files you can load that are the mod ones. Um, so first of all, these two ones in the main folder. Now you will only want to use these ones if the expanded national team mod is not applied, which in our case, it is not. 
uh, so we want to use one of these. So you have the main one, and then you have the one with faces and tattoos applied. Uh, the only difference, really, is that the faces with tattoos applied has all the player faces, manager faces, tattoos, referee faces, and the, the made faces generic applied onto the squad file. So if you have the face mods applied and you want to use the faces, you want to load this one. Again, same thing for the expanded national team experience. If you have the expanded national team experience mod applied below the reels mod, you want to use one of these. Exact same thing with the national ones. One has faces applied, one doesn't. So then to copy it, we want to select the file, go Control C on your keyboard or right click copy, and then go Control V to paste it. Give it a second to load, and then it will be here. Then to load it in game, you want to go to the customize tab on the main menu, click profile, load squads, and then you want to select the one with the right title. And this is the one with the faces applied. Uh, I, I have a lot, you probably won't have this many, but if you do want to know which is which and they have the same names or something, look at the date modified, 12.53 a.m. 12.53 a.m. so we know this is the right one and then to check that everything's working fine there's a few things we can do we can go to the rest of world teams if we want to see if the added uh, uh, you know uh, Champions League and Europa League teams are here and they are we can see that Zenit are, are in the mod everything's working there we can also check some faces in game if we want to see uh, you know if the faces are applied let's go Liverpool you know, we can see uh, what's the player with tattoos. We can see why Naljam had his tattoos. We can see Tiago has his tattoos. We can see Curtis Jones and just Kim Ass has his face. Uh, you know, everything like that. Uh, so yeah, we can see that the mod is working just fine there. Once you've loaded a squad file, whether you apply Lewis scripts or not or whatever, uh, and you want to use that squad file to start new current, you have to select current squads. If you select initial or download latest, the changes won't apply from the squad file. You need to select current squads. So that is where I'm going to end today's tutorial. We went over the basic things of how you can install the mod. Again, if you have any questions, please, please, please join the Discord. Don't ask in the comments. Again, hope you can support the Patreon if you want to get access to the mod. But again, it will go free late March 10th, I think. Um, I will be making a few more tutorials that will be released very shortly. Uh, one about applying the Lewis scripts, maybe another about some other add-on mods and stuff. So stay tuned for those. I'll link those in description stuff. Uh, subscribe to my channel, like the video, turn on notifications so you get notified about stuff like that. Uh, yeah, thank you. Also follow me on Twitter as I'll be releasing uh, updates about the mod and stuff like that there. Uh, it's, at, uh, it's at Pfeiffer underscore mods. Again, thank you so, so much for watching this video and uh, hopefully supporting the mod and playing with it. Uh, you know, just by downloading the mod, you're, uh, you're a huge help to what we do. And uh, thank you once again. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I've been running out of time. Think I need a rewind. Feeling out of life. I put everything aside. Hoping that I make it right. All the things I do for you.